Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Over the years, I've done some videos on Photograve, which is a engravable photo. So I took this photo and turned it into this, which is dots. And I'm actually going to go run this, but I've never had Photograve on my laptop that I do the videos on. So I thought I'd just show people how easy this is. I'm actually going to take this original photo and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to open a new window because I don't want all that other stuff in there. And I'm going to paste it. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit P. One thing about Photograve or probably any software, you want the picture before you do anything to it, the, the size you're going to make. You don't want to enlarge it or decrease it after you uh, run it through the software. <clears throat> One thing I've always done, and I don't know if it's 100% necessary, but I've always turned it into a grayscale. And then I'm going to export it. And I'm going to export it as a JPEG. And I'm going to call it Go-Kart. And then a big B for video. And I am going to export it. And you're going to want to get to this part, and then you're going to want to say OK. Now I'm going to open up Photograve. And Photograve is just Photograve dot com to get it. I don't know how much it costs. I've had it for probably 14, 15 years. Open image. Go kart. The one that is the video one. It opens it up. Here you can select your material. And yesterday I selected wood for this man, but I'm going to do black granite. And I'm going to say, and look at all the different woods it has you know, yellow heart, white oak, uh, uh, walnut with vertical grain, aspen, ash. But I'm going to go with black granite because I might even run this later. Then just, this is where you'd resize your image, but you don't want to, you would do it at this time before you run it through the, and then there's an enhanced mode. I have played around with it. And there, there are a lot of people that can do this inside of Corel. I don't have the patience uh, to do this. And I'm actually going to maybe send this to a couple of friends of mine and have them run it through their Corel. But I'm going to go final process. And that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to go save image as an engraved image. And I'm going to say, okay, so it's a it's go-kart. V with engraved, successful. I'm gonna shut down, and that's all it took. I'm gonna go back to that original page, and I'm gonna import go-kart V engravable, and I'm gonna look at it. Now, look at the difference between the two. That's why I kind of picked it. This one is for wood. This one is for black granite because the dots are left because this will all be black. So I'm going to definitely, and then the, the black spots will be grayed out. I'm actually, I am going to run this. Now, it should be the same size as our original picture. But what I can do now is I'm going to take my regular picture away and I'm going to hit P. And I'm going to look at this to see if this gentleman's outline. So I'm going to go to object order back a page. And there's my cut line. Look at that puffer clay. Now I'm going to cut this car out with the intersect tool. So I'm going to go to intersect. And voila, there's our engravable car. Now I wouldn't want to move it if he's going to cut it out of wood. So you would also want to do that and then move your hairline down. Let me make sure I didn't move it too far or move it by hand. And then I would grab my hairline and I could cut it out. But I'm not going to do that because I'm doing it out of tile and CO2 lasers do not cut out tile. And 
and maybe later today, uh, this isn't maybe the best picture to engrave, but I think it's going to look pretty cool. And maybe tomorrow I'll make a video or even later today, make a video on what this looks like on black granite. I might even run that one on wood just to see. But uh, I'm not endorsing them. Uh, I don't have any ties to photograve. And there are people that can do this inside of Corel. Uh, I just don't. I just trust this. I've used this so much. And hopefully it'll look as good as I'm promising. So stay tuned for part two. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.